In today's video, we show you how to register and set up your Vodafone Shore Signal box. First, you will need to sign into your Vodafone account on www.vodafone.co.uk or create an account on there if you haven't done already. Then, you will need to click on My Shore Signal along the bar at the top and register a Shore Signal box from there. You will then need to input the postcode of where the Shore Signal box is going to be located and used. The next step will confirm the address and postcode of where the Shore Signal box is going to be used and operated from. After that's been completed, you then need to key in the Shore Signal serial number, which can be found on the back of the box, create a name for the Shore Signal box, and then choose the floor where the Shore Signal box will be located from. You will then receive confirmation of which number the box is registered to, and also the postcode of where the Shore Signal box will be used from. The box will automatically register to the number in which you created your My Vodafone account with. We will show you later on how to add more users, so to be sure to check that out. The Shore Signal box can hold up to 32 numbers and can operate 8 numbers at one time. We then move on to the main page of the Vodafone Shore Signal box, where we have options to register another Shore Signal, more about the Shore Signal we've got, manage the Shore Signal, manage users, and also view the dashboard if needs be. Moving on to what we get in the box. We receive some paperwork with some guides to set up and some tips which are definitely worth reading. We then receive the Shore Signal box itself and finally the Ethernet cable which will run from either your PC or router into the Shore Signal box. On the bottom of the Shore Signal box we have two slots, one for the PC and one for your broadband router. And we also have the reset button if we ever need to perform a hard reset on the Shore Signal box. The Ethernet cable slots straight into one of the ports and make sure you hear the click to know that it's in correctly. The next steps are all extremely easy to follow and makes for a simple setup with the Shore Signal box. Plug the device itself into a spare plug socket. Ensure that you leave enough room for the Ethernet cable to reach your PC or router. You will not lose out on any plug sockets as the Shore Signal box comes with one on the front. Next, you need to plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into the router and the Shore Signal box should then turn itself on. Once the symbol shown here stops flashing, it means the box is ready to use. You will know that your box is ready to use when you see the two symbols illuminated on the front as shown here. This can take between 30 and 60 minutes for the operation to be completed, so allow a bit of time for that to go through. Now you should see full bars across your phone for the Vodafone signal. So that's been a video on how to set up your Vodafone Shore Signal box. Please hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe to the OneCom YouTube channel and have a look at our other videos about the Vodafone Shore Signal box. I'm Sam from OneCom and I'll see you all in the next one.